Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to the channel. Do appreciate you popping in to check this one out. What I'm going to show you guys today is how to enable the Telnet client here in Windows 11. This actually does work for Windows 10 as well. Um, it's, it's pretty much the same thing. So say you're in your command prompt here and you go to run Telnet because you need that. And it says Telnet is not recognized. So we've all seen this and I think it probably all or it probably irritates all of us. I know it does me. Um, so how do we enable this? Well, there's a couple different ways. So the first way here in Windows 11, I'm going to go to my search here and instead of typing it out, I see it right here. So in your search, just hit turn Windows features on or off Windows 10. It's a little bit different on where to find that, but I believe it's called the same thing. So let's go ahead and open that up you'll get this nice little box here and so you'll just scroll down pretty self-explanatory here and select telnet client and hit ok and it will go through the thing finding the files and stuff like that and it installs pretty quick um, so just close that and now as you can see in your command prompt you can type telnet and it even welcomes you into telnet and the whole shot there um, so I'm going to show you a second way too. Let's go ahead and let's go ahead and turn this off so I can show you the second way as well. All right. So it says that we do need to reboot Windows. And for some reason, with Windows 11, you do have to restart Windows. So let me restart that. I will be right back. 12 seconds later. Okay guys, so we got that restarted. Let's pop into our command line here. Just make sure Telnet is disabled. And let me show you the second way to do this. And it will be through the command prompt, but we will need to open this in administrator mode. So I'm gonna go ahead and close that out. We're gonna type CMD again, right click and go into run as an administrator. So let me maximize this a little bit okay so for the second part uh doing this by the command line it will be using uh, the dism which is the deployment image servicing and management or service yeah servicing and management i think it is so make sure you're in admin mode and this is kind of nice because you can install telnet right there on the fly without having to go into the programs and features so you're going to type dism space slash online but you have to spell it right don't be a terrible speller like me space slash and enable and i think you have to do it exactly the way i'm doing it here with the case sensitivity with the capital e and the capital uh no i don't think the f is capitalized according to my notes here so uh, feature space and then we're going to do feature name and then we're going to do a colon and then we're just going to go telnet client okay so let me just go over this dism enable feature feature name telnet client okay that's right and once you have that popped in there and don't worry i'm going to put that uh, that whole command down in the description so let's go ahead and hit enter here and as you can see it is doing its thing and it looks like uh, it installed it. So let's just type Telnet. And as you can see, you are back in Telnet there. So guys, I hope that was helpful to you. It gave you two different ways to install Telnet. One through programs and features here. And then the other one through the command line. And again, those notes are down in the description for you. If this was helpful to you, I would love if you'd click that like button. And if you'd like to see future content, I post usually about two videos a week. So if you'd like to see that, go ahead and hit subscribe. Thanks, guys. I appreciate it. Take care.